Hey, what's up, everybody? Jonathan Thames here from Rosie and Ernie Productions. Welcome to the Jonathan Thames Music Channel. In today's video, I'm diving into the uh, next snarky puppy tune on the list, and that is What About Me? I have gotten a lot of requests for this tune, and after the four tunes that I've already checked out, I'm very, very excited to dive into this one and give it a listen. Uh... I don't really want to hype it up anymore. I just want to dive in and check it out. So without any further delay, let's give it a shot. Yeah. I really like that. Ooh. 
okay, I don't know how it's possible to continuously have my mind blown so much with every new tune that I'm exposed to with these guys. I'm going to have to say, I, I, I said Outlier was my favorite prior to listening to this because the groove was just so mean, and I actually failed to mention in my commentary uh, post that that I really, really loved the guitars in that. As a guitarist, that really, really spoke to me. Oh my gosh, I don't even know where to begin with this one because, I, I mean, I'm just in love, in love with the way that the guitars and the keyboards and the bass and just I, I love the way that everything is arranged in this and I love the guitar tone I love that it shines through it's featured more and uh the commenters that that kind of uh gave me a little bit of a prelogue to this let me know that this song does take many uh changes and it does feature some phenomenal work by Larnell Lewis and I, I, I definitely see what everybody was talking about. There are a lot of elements uh, and a lot of different feelings that go into this song. Uh, there's some some of the things that actually remind me a lot of John McLaughlin's, a lot of his solo stuff, actually, the way that the song kind of opens up. And then it goes into territories that are definitely more along the realm of, you know, Frank Zappa and that kind of a thing, or Return to Forever, I definitely heard a lot of Return to Forever, but the guitar solo itself, not the whole thing, but it starts off with a very Jeff Beck-like feeling to me, and that that whole guitar solo was just so freaking tasty that I couldn't stand it. I mean, I, I loved everything about the way that this song was arranged it was almost too it because because it, it, it's a it's uh, i mean it's seven minutes long it is a long song but for them it's kind of a a more tightly knit piece it's one of their shorter pieces and it's so condensed with awesomeness that it's almost hard to absorb everything that's happening in one listen because they're just throwing it all at you right there in this song and I think this is fantastic. I don't know. This this may be my new favorite song by them. This may be my new favorite song. Uh, I'm really, really glad that you guys suggested this one to me. And actually, I'm really glad that it's taken me until now to get to this one. Because I feel like all of the other tunes have been building me up to check this one out. But anyways, let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments below, and let me know what tunes you guys want to see me react to. Let me know what bands I should be checking out, what tunes I should be listening to. I appreciate everybody checking this video out. I want to thank everybody for watching this reaction, and I hope that everybody out there is doing well, and I'll see you all in the next video.